Hi guys, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be doing the Chinook Helicopter, which has been, uh, uh, well, it's had a lot of views, so I thought, why not make a tutorial on it? So I've uh, just quickly, I've done a couple in camo as well, so you can get an idea for the actual colour scheme you might want to go with. Um, and also, I'll go on to the interior a bit later. I've kind of put in a tank that I've got an earlier tank tutorial over there. The tank does fit in there. Uh, the Sherman tank as well should just about fit inside. Um, I've got a kind of navy camo one there with uh, light grey, uh, light blue, and normal blue. That one's got a boat in the back, and then I've got a kind of I've tried to go for a, a snowy kind of tundra style uh, with this one, which I've just put in a load of crates. So I'll, I'll go for all that kind of finishing touches at the end. Um, but for now, let's just go about doing the tutorial. Uh, so I'm just going to find a clear space. It's getting a bit cramped now. Uh, it was quite a big build, which is why I kind of sped it up. Uh, so you just want to start with, uh, I'll just go through what you need. Black wool, a button, never brick fence. Uh, green wool I'm going to use for this one, I'm just going to make a plain green one. Uh, some glass, a stone slab, iron bars, uh, grey wool, and also levers as well. So you want to do is just put down kind of four blocks like, blocks like that. This is going to be the front wheels. Uh, then all you're going to do is just connect them like that. These two are, are separate. And just put some buttons on the outside. There we go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to count 15 blocks. So I'm going to do this with uh, wool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then this this won't actually be here. You just put some never break fences on the sides. And then there are your other two wheels. So you can get rid of this part now. And then just put your buttons on the outsides of those, and that's the first layer, that's the wheels, so everything should sit nicely on top of this, okay? Okay, so the next layer, what you're going to do is you're just going to build on top of this, you're going to come forward two blocks, and then counting these ones, you're going to go back 19, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And there's going to be five at the back, one, two, three, four, five. And then you'll have the same thing again on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And it'll hang over by two. So then what you're going to do is you're going to come in, um, and it's be a row of five, and you're just going to go one, two, three, and four. So there's four blocks across that way. And you're just going to fill this in completely solid. Uh, this will be solid as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have three black blocks across the front, just like that. Um, so now just fill in this section solid, and that's done with layer two. So this is kind of main floor, and everything just sits on top of this. Okay, so once you've filled in your layer, grab your black wall again, and what you're going to do is you're going to come forwards and just basically outline that layer there. So I've just got three across the front one and one and both all of these ones are sticking out over the edge. You grab your green, which is going three, five, and you're gonna put two pieces of glass in here so this starts the cockpit. And another two blocks here. This is gonna be a doorway right here. So just start that. Okay so from this block what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it all the way back right to the end and you're gonna go past by two. So you're just going past here by two. And then also on the outside here, you're just going to go one block past, past the layer underneath it, and then one block uh, before. So you've got that pattern there. So if we go around this side, so you're just going to fill this in like this. And this one just goes, uh, this one will go here, and this one will go one past. I'll just do that separately, just to so don't get confused. There you go, so that joins into there. You've got one gap here, just like on the other side. And then just pull this one all the way back. And then goes fast by one block. And we'll get onto the next layer. Okay, so the next layer, so what you're gonna do is you're going to place down your glass blocks, just like this, in a diagonal. And then you're going to have one green block just at the front there. 
Now what we're going to do is you're just going to basically build up uh, the walls. So when you go one, two, three, and then you place glass, one, two, three, place glass, one, two, three, place glass, one, two, three, place glass, and then you, I think that's it. I think there's only four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only four. And then you just bring this out, this time just by one block. Like that. And then this time you won't have to count out, but it is just three blocks and then glass. There we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Um, and what you can do on this side is I've put in a gun kind of turret. turret. So you can put in black wall on this side and then just use uh, never break fence as kind of gun turret. Um, and also on this side you can come out one, two, and three there just to kind of create some sort of uh, sense thing. And also if you want to use a lever as well, just adds a little bit more to the front. And we'll get on to the next, next part of it. Okay, this layer is really, really easy. What you're going to do is you're just going to cover up the glass. And then this is going to go pretty much all the way straight back. Um, and just like we did last time, we're going to go out by one block. And then come back all the way again. Super easy layer, it's just cleaning it up a bit. Okay, next layer is nice and easy. You're just going to come in by one. And then you're going to put three blocks here. And go back again. So you're just going to create that kind of pattern. Just fill this in. And then this goes all the way back. Like that, and you're just going to have three blocks at the end. And one, two, three, four, five. And then you go in again. And then just fill this in solid. Okay, I just need to add another five blocks on this side. One, two, three, four, five. So that's just setting up uh, for the rotors. Uh, now what you can do, this is just a bit of trim. If you find your first window near the front, and I just put iron bars all the way from first window to the last window. So there you go, from the last window to the first window, and that just kind of trims it out a little bit quite nicely. And we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, so we'll build the first rotor. Uh, so you just come in here. So what you're doing is just basically creating a 3x3 three three square with two bits on it, and that's it. And then on top of that, you're going to get your black wall out, and you're just going to make a cross. Uh, now what I did is I put buttons on each of these uh, edges, just to finish it out. Get your iron bars out, put one on top, stone slabs, and then uh, I believe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's one of the blades, and then you're going to come out diagonally. 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Really easy. So that's the first blade done. So that's all finished. Okay, so onto the back rotor, what you're going to do is just lay on blocks on this part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to be three across, just like that. Um, and then what you're going to do is... I used an iron block for this, this one, so it comes out just like that. And then... Oh, ah. Okay, so then you've got four blocks of green. And these just connect in in the middle just like that so I'll go for it a bit better on this side hopefully so you've got your iron block which is just uh, you've got one block gap here one two three four put on your gray and then right in the middle of those ones so you've got two blocks here two blocks there and that's how you do that so then what I did is I put buttons on those parts you can also use a trap door if you want uh, but I just use buttons on that part, and we'll get onto the next layer at the top. 
Okay, so onto the last part. This bit's really easy. So what you're gonna do is just build up around this. That and the block there as well. There you go. So that's the pattern. All it is is one, two, three, four, five, with an extra block on there. Uh, before I forget as well, this block here um, on my builds is black. Oh, there we go. So that's black there. Okay. So then all you're going to do is just come in here. And you're going to go onto this part as well. One, two, three. So really what you're doing is you're just kind of creating steps on these parts. Coming up. And then same as you did on this one, you're just going to do a cross, which fits in. Just there. And then buttons around the outside as well. This is just kind of trimming it out and, and adding a bit more to it. Iron bars. Stone slab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Going forwards, and then doing the same you did on the other ones, you're just going to go diagonal, nine as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that's it pretty uh, easy, it's quite a big build in a way, it's, uh, it's about 30, 30 blocks across um, and you've got quite a lot of space inside as well. Um, what I did on my build is I put a slab in there just so you can get onto it a bit easier. So, so there's a cockpit so you can build that up um, and you can fit in chairs or things like that, I'll show you in a second. Um, another thing I did with mine is I used trap door just on this gun part just to add in a little bit more depth on that side um, so I'll just have a look at the other ones yep so this is the my kind of army style one let's go inside that so here's the cockpit I've just kind of used a lot of uh, buttons and levers and jukebox in there um, and I've got another few seats put in a wall here just put some trap doors just to trim it out trap doors again around there Got quite a few seats, uh, a couple of crates, these are just iron blocks with buttons on them and I've used the track on top to try and look like something's holding in place and I've got the tank in here. Um, so I'll just go around the other side and try and show that off a bit better. So like I was saying earlier, you can either get the Scorpion tank, which is this one, or you can probably fit in the Sherman tank as well, which I think the Sherman will look a little bit better inside. Um, here I have a kind of navy camo style one which is pretty much identical inside um, as the last one the cockpit's exactly the same and um, there's a couple more chair, uh, seats i think to take out the crates and i've just built this really nice kind of small boat and, and fit it in the back of that um, i'll go through in a second actually how to how i went about doing the ramp um, so yeah here is the kind of snowy tundra one and this one was mainly just so I could show off the crates. So this one I've just got some wooden ones, wooden planks, and uh, with some rail on them and some buttons on them as well, and just lots and lots of seats. Uh, really, really easy. So you, there's quite a lot of options you've got with this because it's quite it's big enough to kind of uh, fill out a bit. Um, how I attach the tank onto my chinook as well. I just used fences, and um, if people want a tutorial on exactly how I did it, then I can do that. Uh, but all I did is basically went up and just started fencing inwards until I got to this point and at this point I kind of split off as well onto, a, onto the sides as well which was quite easy I think this tank is this uh, tank this build is actually complete yeah this one's completely empty on the inside um, so yeah that's how I kind of connected on that on uh, it's mainly just going down with the fences quite easily um, so I'll just show how to do the the ramp if I can remember it myself. Okay, so I'm just having a look. I'm pretty sure that all I did was just take off one, two, three, the last few layers. Yeah, I think I did this and then it might have come out here um, and then done this, I think, on the back side added in a couple more but it's really up to you how you want to do the 
do the back of it. Um, I think this might have come off as well. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, that's that's kind of how I did it. Uh, onto, and you just kind of try and step them up. Whether it, I think I might have an extra ramp there. So it's quite easy to do. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.